Hi, I'm Josh Croner, chef and owner of Terrapin Restaurant in Rhinebeck, New York. I would like to thank the editors of Hudson Valley Magazine for naming me the best creative quesadillas in the Hudson Valley. I would like to share some of the uh, tips and, and show you how I make a quesadilla later in this video. But first, I really want to thank the readers of Hudson Valley Magazine for voting Terrapin Restaurant the best bistro in the Hudson Valley. In addition to that, a first time thing for us, we actually were voted the most romantic restaurant in the Hudson Valley. And I think that's great because I certainly have had a lot of romantic meals here. And I want to show you guys right here, this is my favorite romantic table, one that I always take my wife. This is our bistro that was awarded the best bistro in the Hudson Valley. And as you can see, it's still beautiful, but reduced seating capacity, of course, because of the pandemic. Uh, tables are always spaced six feet apart, and even at the bar we put some partitions in to add an extra layer of protection for our guests because certainly safety during this pandemic is going to be the primary concern for our customers. We are still open seven days a week, serving late. Our bistro menu is full, and we also offer a full takeout menu seven days a week as well. So this is Terrapin's dining room. And as you can see, we have lots of space, which is great because we're able to really space things out in here very comfortably. We have really high ceilings for much better air circulation as well. This is where a lot of the magic happens, where I'm able to do some of my finer, fancier stuff, but you're also able to get the bistro menu in here if that's what you're looking for. So please come into the dining room and enjoy a romantic meal in one of our romantic tables. We've been fortunate to have a lot of patio space. The town has allowed us to put a big tent out back, plus we have our front patio that we've been seating for years. And though the weather's getting a little chillier, we're gonna be able to have a heated tent in the back, so we're gonna be able to continue this if you're more comfortable dining outside. Or if you wanna sit in the sun, there'll be plenty of opportunity for that as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I make my case. Now this is actually a technique that I got from Bobby Flay way back in the 90s when I was working at Basic Grill with him. The secret is, first of all, it's a baked quesadilla and I use three tortillas, so there's a layered tortilla process. The ideas are going to be cheese, onions, jalapeno, salt, pepper. So, in this case, I'm going to start with the duck, put a nice layer of duck on the bottom, like this. And then, little cheese on top. I use Fontina cheese in the restaurant. A little bit of onion, a little bit of jalapenos, salt and pepper, and then I go to the second layer. So I put layer down, press it down, and this layer is only going to have the cheese. So I go with cheese, jalapenos, a little bit more, you know, give a little pop, onions, salt and pepper. So that's it for the inside of the quesadilla. Now this is kind of the secret for making a quesadilla. You want to take olive oil, put, put a little bit of olive oil like that on top, and spread it around. Now it's going to look nice and, and shiny. You're going to have a lot of oil on it. But this is kind of the key ingredient, because if you're doing a normal quesadilla where you're frying it in a pan, you're going to be using oil on it. So you need that kind of crispy uh, fry with a little bit of oil flavor while it's still baked in the oven. So you put the oil on top, now we're ready to cook it. So, as you can see, I baked the quesadilla. Just pulled it out of the oven. Um, I bake it at a 500 degree oven. What you're looking for is this top shell should be really crispy. If it's soggy, it's not gonna have the same crunch that you're looking for. I serve this quesadilla with my mango avocado salsa, but the fact that we won best creative quesadilla, quesadillas are creative by nature. There's so many different things you guys can do with this. So explore, have a good time. I want to thank you guys again for voting us uh, Best Bistro and Most Romantic Restaurant and invite your friends, come have dinner with us.